Hi everybody, Steph here. Now, just recently, um, well it was actually a couple of weeks ago, someone, some young gentleman, young collector sent me a message asking me how to remove a clip from a Lamy All Star fountain pen. Now because I'm actually a vintage pen collector, I didn't have any Lamy fountain pens. Now coincidentally, I picked this up at the local charity shop yesterday, so better late than never, let's show you how to actually take the clip off clip off this particular pen and dismantle it. What we've got is a Lamy All Star AL or aluminium and you can see it comes with this chrome clip to the top there. Um, if we actually take the cap off which just snaps into place. Let's show you the feed first of all. What I've already done is actually cleaned everything um, so hopefully you can, it's a little bit easier for you to actually see the pen. You can see it's got a transparent feed there and to the top there we've got a Lamy um, medium um, black chromium plated stainless steel nib okay let's turn it over for you so what we're going to do is as I say is show you how to dismantle the pen um, this particular pen well it actually came with a, a little ink cartridge like so I believe you can actually get um, Lamy converters for these pens as well so if you need a converter but I'll show you in a moment um, how we actually fill it with ink. Now first of all the feed and the nib etc will all come apart. Now what you need to do is get your trusted I use a bike in a tube. Cut it into squares like this excellent for actually removing parts um, and it doesn't damage, uh, damage any of your parts. Now what we can do first of all if we just apply a little bit of pressure on the top there to the nib you see the nib actually comes off like so it just simply slides off so if you want to change the nib for well a different variant you know a broad or a medium you just want to simply change it that's how you do it with this particular pen now to take the feed um, from out of the section grip it as far to the bottom as you can there because as you can see it's quite thin um, and it's quite brittle so what we'll do we'll grip it down to the bottom and all we do is just simply pull and as you can see it just simply comes out of the the section like so okay let's show it to you there okay so there's no twisted needing don't twist it because I'll show you there's actually a little lug on the end which sits inside a recess there so you'll actually break that just simply pull the uh, pull the feed out when you're actually cleaning this particular feed, um, there's actually a little piece to the very top there which again if you just apply a little bit of pressure to it like so, you see that just slides off like that. So again when you're cleaning it, take that off, put it in, well as I've done with this already, pop it in the ultrasonic cleaner and everything will be nice and clean for you. So that's how we actually dismantle the feed and the section etc. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we come to the cap here. So we need to try and take um, this clip off here. Now if you look to the top there, you can see it's got this little stud to the top with these little uh, ridges um, in a little square. Now what I use is this particular tool here which you've seen before. I actually use it as a sack spreader. But I use the end of it here which actually sits nice and neatly into one of the ridges there okay so it sits nice and neatly you can actually use a coin try not to use a small screwdriver because you'll scratch it or you can actually um, well ruin that particular stud there now before we try unscrewing what you need to do is bring get this a piece of wood I use this particular dowel for numerous jobs and what you need to do is pop that inside um, inside the cap like so and Put pressure inside so you're actually pushing the best way to do it but I can't show it to you on the video is to place it on a desktop like so and as you're doing that from the top um, begin to remove the screw but what I'm going to do I'm going to apply pressure like so a little bit difficult over the camera but and then what we do is we just simply as we're applying pressure to the dowel inside we just simply unscrewing the stud to the very top like so and then that should hopefully says he right just do a little bit more 
again and putting pressure on the dowel inside as I'm doing it. A little bit difficult working over the camera but there we have it. Let's pop that tool to one side and there you have it. What it is, it's like a little, a little stud which has got a thread like so. And you can see inside there, um, inside the cap it's got this uh, brass retaining, sorry, retaining screw inside. Okay, so I'm hoping that's nice and clear for you. So let's pop that inside like that. Now, to take the clip off, nice and simple, just pull it out nice and gently, like so. Just give it a little bit of a wiggle. Sometimes you just need to bring out one particular side first and then pop the other side out like so. Try and be careful because you don't want to scratch your pen. But there's the clip and that's how it looks inside. Now at this point the gentleman that sent me said it was actually sprung so what you can actually do is being careful put this section in a vise and bend it back slightly to give it a little bit more tension. Okay so there we have that so there's the clip. Now if for some reason you want to take out the inner cap inside what you do is get something that's small that'll fit inside like so I just simply push and there you go what happens is this brass retain, retaining um, screw if you like comes out from the bottom and then again if you get something that sort of fits inside this particular hole you can actually push out the inner cap if you wish but at this point we don't need to do that okay so that's that so there we have it that's basically that's how we actually dismantle the cap also for some reason if for some reason you need to take out the threaded section of the barrel um, I don't know it, it, the barrel you, know, you may need an, another section inside or whatever what you can actually do is get this little these little screwdrivers like that, this is a Phillips one and what you'll find to the bottom here is another screw with the word or a stud if you like with the word Germany and inside it's got these slight little ridges which if you actually pop your Phillips screwdriver in there press down on it so it doesn't ruin the stud itself and again what I'm doing is just simply turning and again if we show you that you can see it's got this threaded sort of a uh, stud if you like to the bottom of the barrel whoops a daisy so let's pop that down like so now at this point you can actually grip this top section here says he <laughs> and there we have the actually the inside the inside of the barrel okay so that's how easy it is to dismantle the well the Lamy All Star fountain pen. Okay, now what I'm actually going to do personally, um, as I say, I found this pen, it's very cheap. You can see it's got some uh, dings to the top there, which I'm going to actually try and um, sort of roll them out. I'm going to try and get rid of them. And this particular pen, because it was quite cheap, um, I'm going to do a little customization to it. So I don't know, maybe keep watching and maybe we'll see if it actually works out. But let's pop the pen all back together so what we do we slide the innards like that inside we get the, the plastic stud the threaded stud we pop that inside like so and again what we do is get our little sort of Phillips screwdriver and as we're pressing down on this particular section at the top here we just screw it back into place Okay, till it's nice and tight. Now to okay, assemble so um, the cap again, what we need to do first of all, um, pop in the clip into one of the holes and then um, move it to the other side like that so it's in place. And then what we need to do is get the the brass retaining screw, if you like, pop that back inside and let's let's see if it sits sits at home no so what we need to do is remove it a little bit fiddly this just what we need to do is just drop it into place until no we've not got it either there let's try one more time 
fits that into place. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it when this happens? Just have a look over the camera. It's not far off actually, so let's just um, just pop it into place like so. Right, what I need to do is just just bear with me a second, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Right, there you go. So a little bit fiddly, so you can now see that the. Uh, retaining screw is in place and what it actually does it holds the clip underneath in place so at this point what I need to do I'll just take that out again I need to bring back the dowel pop it inside inside the cap and again push and put pressure to the top there now what we're getting is the retaining screw to the top again let's put that to the top just at this point let's put it on finger tight and then again we bring on our little tool and what we do is just simply again as I'm screwing I'm putting pressure on the dowel inside so we just screw that into place takes a few screws again a little bit difficult over the camera says he we're not far off now There we go, that'll do us. So we pop the tool to one side, pop the dowel to one side, and there we go. What we've done, we've screwed the uh, stud to the top there, and the, the clip is back into place. Now, the section and the feed, first of all, we get the feed, um, we get this little top section like so, and we need to pop that back into place like so that just simply slides home into place like that okay um, again at this point we get the nib the nib just simply slides and is held it by these two little ridges here so what we do we just simply slide it back into place nice and easy so the feed is now all in place now what you'll actually notice, says he, is to the top there, there's actually this little ridge. Okay, now that ridge has to sit, if I can show you, just inside the feed there, there you go, you can see it's got this little sort of ridge again inside, and that little ridge has to sit inside them two little well two little ridges so what we need to do is pop it into place like so and you can see what happens it just slides and clicks back into place like that so that's how easy it is so what we do now in fact what I'm actually going to do <coughs> um, another little tip as I said before this came with a cartridge uh, I haven't got a converter so what I'm actually going to do is give you a little tip on well what I actually do when I've got no uh, no spare cartridges I bring on my little trusted um, syringe like so and what I'll do is I'll dip that syringe into the ink there you go you can see we've got lots of ink there and what I'm going to do now is pop the the needle into the cartridge like so and let's press down we don't want too much I'll do That'll do, that'll be fine. In fact, no, let's let's top it all the way up. There you go. So pop the access or the excess back in the ink. Pop the lid back on. So there's a little tip for you. If you haven't got any cartridges, um, use the original cartridge, fill it up with your favourite ink, and that'll simply sit at home like so. We can put the barrel back on like that let's bring on some paper um, well as you can see it's first time it's written with so I don't know if the ink actually needs a little bit of time to get through the nib so what we'll do is just give it in fact just off camera let's just give it a little there we go 
go, maybe that'll work. Right, whether it's dried up or not, I don't know, so if you just bear with me, what we'll do, we'll squeeze out a little bit of ink. There we go. Let's pop the the barrel back on and hopefully that should be fine. So what we've got is a a Lamy and this one is what they call the the All Star and it's the AL which is for the aluminium. It's actually a very nice writer for this well, whether they're cheap or not, I'm actually too sure how much they are. But it writes very nicely. Very nicely and smooth. It's got a lovely a lovely wet line. And well, it'll make a very nice everyday writer. So there we have it. Incidentally, you can see now we've got a cartridge inside, you can actually see it's got this little ink view area here so when you're actually running out of ink um, it'll tell you, well it'll actually you can actually see when you're actually running out of ink. So let's pop the cap back on, there you go, clicks nicely into place. So there we have it, that's the Lamy All Star Fountain Pen and how to dismantle it and basically how it writes. So. I hope you're happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Don't forget, I've got loads of videos. Don't forget to subscribe. But for now, I'll just say, ta-da now. <laughs>